Hello, welcome back. Happy Saturday. I don't know if it's still gonna be Saturday when I'm posting this, but we're really gonna try. Um, but yeah, how are you guys? I hope you're all doing well. You look gorgeous today. Gorgeous, okay? Don't let anyone tell you differently. You look beautiful. I love your hair. Did you do something different with it? It looks so shiny. I don't even know. But yes, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we are finally doing our in-store try-on. Um, I am so sorry for the delay. Uh, I initially was going to be posting this on Wednesday. However, while I was editing, somehow I accidentally deleted all the footage and I was so heartbroken. So your girl had to go back into refilm, but um, luckily I was able to actually redo a couple things uh, that I didn't like the time before. I was also able to add a couple more pieces just from your suggestions below. So for you guys, the funk pant is gonna be featured in this video. We're gonna be doing a tie-dye sweatsuit. We've got lots of leather, lots of variations. So I'm actually really excited and you guys end up getting a better video. So yes, we had to redo it, but it's gonna be a way better video this time around. So that's okay either way i hope you guys really enjoy this video it is gonna be phenomenal i've got a couple little features you get to meet some of my little aritzia girls who can be helping you out as well um and yeah it's gonna be a really fun time so without further ado i'm gonna show you guys actually what i'm wearing first and then let's go shop it shop it okay as you can see i'm not a dancer shopping let's go shopping All right, so before taking you dropping with me, I'm gonna show you what I'm actually wearing. Um, so today I paired the Ghana, literally Aritzia's staple piece. If you're wanting to buy this piece, literally buy it right away. I recommend pre-ordering them or they are special orders what Aritzia goes by, but it's basically a pre-order um, just because they sell out so fast. We literally like, we had the pink one in store and the pink one was like going the day of. So 10 out of 10 pre-order these they're so worth it they're 100 wool so especially for like transitioning into fall they're super nice and you can also layer them underneath jackets like i would wear this underneath my super puff so love them and then yeah i paired it with a nice oversized tee this you guys have definitely seen it is the metallica shirt from urban outfitters Woo! they're literally dresses this is a small medium and it's how huge um and then yeah i paired it with my pros pant just because i like a little wide leg super loose and comfy with my little like booby bag here, which this is actually from Intimates by TK, the couple of girls that I work with. Um, and yeah, it's just so cute. Like look at all the different boobs. <laughs> which boobs are you guys? I'm definitely, I'm these ones. <laughs> I'm like the itty bitty ones, that's me. But yeah, let me know in the comments, which boobs are you? Um, and then yeah, I just paired it with a chunky sneak. We did the little triple S today to chunk it up, which I find these are a nice pair with these pants just because it's such a wide leg. So it kind of helps balance out the wideness of my leg. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get to the mall because it is um, getting late. So bye. So we're gonna start this video off with my all-time favorite outfit, which is the Lockwood tank top with the Limerick short. Now, the reason that this tank top is one of my favorites is just because it flatters every single body type. Like you can literally be a double zero or you can be a size 12 to 14 and this homie is still gonna look good on you. Um, and I think it's just a combination of the shoulder pad with the fact that you're gonna probably be tucking it that just brings that attention right back to the waist. And um, it's just, it's such a flattering outfit. It's such a flattering look. Um, the shoulder pads are shockingly comfortable. They're super lightweight um, and I actually don't mind having them on. And then obviously I paired it with the vegan leather um, limerick short, which the vegan leather, you guys, if you have not had a chance to try it this year, it is so soft. 
Um, like I remember in years past, not like I was ever complaining. I was like, yeah, these are super, you could tell it was like super nice. It was a thick material. This year it's like a little bit thinner, but it's so soft. You can tell that they've really gone all out. Um, and the nice part, it comes in black and it also comes in this cinnamon brown, which is the like signature brown color that Ritzy has been using. So I wouldn't necessarily say that this is my style. However, the tennis skirt is so in this year and I wanted to show you guys a couple ways to style them. So first of all, I actually paired this guy with the Rebecca crop turtleneck. Um, and I really like this turtleneck just because it's a cotton wool blend. So it's actually nice and thick. You can't even tell, but I'm wearing a black bra underneath this. Um, and then just to get a little bit more of a preppy look, I tossed the um, Sunday Best blazer over top. And it's so funny that I love going for these blazers and love going for the super preppy look because when I was in high school, I was like, there's no way I'm wearing a blazer. I don't wanna wear a uniform. And now I'm like all for uniforms, like 100% put me in a uniform. So cute, so trendy. And that the olive skirt is made out of the vegan leather. So super, super soft. Um, it is a bit of a shorter skirt. So if you're someone who is looking for something a little bit longer, I'd maybe stick to those like Wilfred um, and even the Babaton, like their plaid skirt is quite a bit longer. Um, but yeah, here's the blazer just in case it was something that you're wanting to pick up. Uh, and yeah, that's my little outfit. So preppy, so cute, one of my favorites. All right guys, so next up I have the Cypri sweater with the funk pant, and I don't know if you noticed the Cypri, we actually featured it last week, but I did the Cypri dress, and this is just the sweater version. Um, and I find it's really nice, it's super versatile. You can pair it with leather like I did in this case to dress it down, or you can pair it with like a dress pant and actually wear this to work. Um, the material is crazy soft. The extra fine merino wool from Italy, just like, it's a nice material because like I said, you can dress it up so easily. Like you wouldn't go into work and then be like, oh man, you're wearing a sweater. It's like, no, you're wearing a very nice sweater. Um, so yeah, one thing I love about it, Obviously, I paired them with the funk pant. I wanted to give you guys um, a little bit of a view of the funk pant because it's a really cool pant. It is a little bit tighter fitting and it's super high rise. So if you are not someone who likes a high rise pant, avoid the funk pant because it literally comes up to like my boobs and I have a long torso. So again, if you're someone who also has a short torso, the funk pant will not be for you, but they're a great pant, super, super cool with that line across kind of mimicking the Oracle pant. So for the next outfit, I'm gonna start by talking about the jacket, cause I see you look at honey. This jacket is called the Ghana jacket and it's an Aritzia staple. It's literally one of Aritzia's most popular items. Um, it comes in a variation of colors and literally sells out every single year in a matter of weeks. I don't understand. It's such a good staple to have in your closet and I'll explain why. The jacket's considered an oversized utility jacket and it's super versatile because I find you can either dress it up or you can dress it down super easily. It's made out of 100% merino wool that's been treated using this technique of boiling wool in order to give it that textured look. And the reason this is so important is because this jacket will actually keep you warm, you guys. Other than that, another thing that I do in the winter time is it's a great layering piece. So you can actually layer it under your super puff or like any type of like puff jacket that you have enough space to put another little baby jacket underneath. Um, and then last but not least, fit. This honey fits big, people. Um, so if you're normally a small, you'll probably be like an extra small if you prefer like an oversized look. If you prefer more fitted, I would definitely say maybe go two sizes down just in case. Um, but yeah, that is the Ghana. Definitely recommend doing a pre-order or Aritzia calls it a special order um, just because then you can finally get your hands on one because they, like I said, you guys sell it so quick, but these honeys are worth the money. So yes, that's the tea on the Ghana. I recommend doing a pre-order, otherwise known as a special order, um, because it's definitely worth the price point and it's 100% worth the wait. So now for the rest of the look, I wanted to keep it chill, but I wanted to keep it still super cool. Um, so I paired the Benji camisole with the Rebel pant and I love that neutral tone. Um, just because it's a nice straight across neckline, super easy to toss on with anything. You don't feel like you're inappropriate. Um, and as for the pants, I love the color. They are so cool. They're neutral enough that you can easily pair them with like blacks, whites, grays, even like stuff that is a little bit like a more of a neutral color. Um, and the vegan leather, you guys, it is so, so soft. 
Um, and one thing I actually like about these guys in comparison to the Molinas, because I would say that the Rebel Pant is probably the closest to the Molinas as for like the style, it's more of that straight leg. Um, but I love the Rebel has like these lines that just really help sculpt and shape your body, like my butt in these. Ugh, I'm so sold when I saw my butt, you guys. Uh, but yeah, I would say closest to is gonna be the Molina if you decide that you do not like the lines. Um, one thing I would note is it is not true to size. I find that these guys do fit a little bit snug. Um, so I'm actually wearing the zero in them. So I would definitely look at potentially sizing up. Don't be surprised if you have to. All right, you guys, I'm not going to lie. I did not think I'd ever be wearing tie-dye again, but here we are. Um, Aritzia just did such a good job of creating all these very like muted colors that they're not too outrageous. Like when I think of tie-dye, I think of like crazy outrageous colors. So that's kind of usually what draws me away from them. But these are like still very chic. Um, I am wearing a size one in the cropped crew neck. And the reason I choose the crew necks is just because they're easier to get on and off my head. Um, and I'm wearing a size medium in the boyfriend sweat. So we actually didn't have a size smaller. I'd probably wear like an extra small realistically. But if I'm just lounging around home, I'd honestly wear a small medium. And they're still super comfy and oversized. So go get your sweatsuits before they sell out guys so last but very much not least we have a three in one here so i'm wearing the bika skirt which is this super long like leather skirt with this nice like cutout down the middle and honestly you guys it is a flattering skirt i love the bika skirt um great if you have hips too i find it's super flattering on people who are really hippy um, I have paired it with just like a simple contour bodysuit, um, which this would also be a really nice look if you just like tossed over the Ghana or like tossed over the little crop jacket. Like you've got, just got so many options. Um, but yeah, the skirt is stupidly soft. It is quite long. Like I'm someone who is 5'5". Five five. I have a long torso. So that's one thing that I do want to keep in mind. If you're on the shorter side, you may not love the height of the skirt. So you're probably going to have to get it hemmed. Um, it is super versatile. As you can see, I just toss like a nice little chunky knit over top pull your jewelry out and like here you are you have another like nice little fall look um, or you can pair it with a nice like satin blouse and you get a little bit more of a formal look to it um, so yeah I love the Bika skirt it's so versatile as you can see here and my girl Cano just really giving me that good fitting room service making sure everything's sanitized for me <laughs> Hello, I'm back, we're back, we're back home. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the in-store try-on. Um, let me know in the comments below if you like the style of video, um, just because I feel like, for me at least, this gives me an opportunity to try a bunch of different styles I naturally wouldn't try myself, um, just because they're not my style. Like for example, the olive skirt and the Rebecca crop um, long sleeve loved how that looked it looks super cool but it's not necessarily my style um so yeah if you guys like the try-ons in store let me know because i would love to keep doing more of them if that's something that you guys are liking and then at least this way if you request certain pieces i can show you how to style these different pieces um but yeah you guys have a great rest of your day i am so and tired so i'm gonna take a nap and then edit this video um, and yeah. Also, constructive criticism, you guys, please never hesitate to let it, like, to let me know in the comments below. I am so happy to, like, hear from you guys if there's something that's annoying, if I'm talking too fast. That is the feedback I love to hear, especially since I naturally am a really fast talker. I don't know if you can tell, but when I get excited, I talk really fast. Um, and especially when it comes to Aritzia, because I love Aritzia. Like, literally, if you bring up clothes in the eye, we'll be like, <laughs> especially when it comes to the store, just because, like, clothes can change so many things. They can change, like, how you feel about yourself. You can, like, give off a different vibe. Like, I can feel like a badass one day, or I can, like, feel super feminine the next day. And just, like, their pieces are so timeless. And you guys, you can mix and match them. You can get the most out of your money. You just have to shop it right. And that's what I'm here for. I'm going to guide you. We're going to do this together. We're going to figure it out together. Because, yes, I love shopping. And I love shopping with you guys. So, yes. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. Here's the end of my sappy, long, little speech. And, yeah. Until next time. Until next week. Um, does anyone else take, like stupidly long to get set up 
in their car like before you're going like I feel like I take like at least 10 minutes to like get into position and like get set up and connect my phone and put on the playlist I want like it actually just takes time and on top of that depending on the shoes that I'm wearing I've got to like readjust my seat fix like you know it's just it's what it is guys let me know I feel like I'm the only one but let me know